Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Varlan here bringing you another Neverwinter video. Uh, last week I showed you a way to farm Dreadring. Uh, I was basically crucified for it. A lot of people didn't agree with it. I did get a lot of positive feedback, uh, but a lot of people were saying, you know, it's an old method. Uh, it doesn't equal um, enough AD to verify is it a good uh, farming spot. Well, I disagree. Uh, I mean, yes, salvaging is going to be the number one way to get AD, but I just wanted to bring other ways uh, so you guys have different options to actually make, you know, money. Even if you sell something for 5k or 10k or 20k, just because you're not selling that big ticket item doesn't mean you're not going to make money from it. So today, I'm bringing you another AD farming video. Uh, we're going to talk about Sharandar. Uh, people on the Xbox and PC, uh, you only have to be level 64, I believe, to start the Sharandar. Um, you have to be level 70 on PS4 because you guys haven't got the uh, Guild Alliances update yet. So, depending on how far you are into the Sharandar campaign, uh, I'm going to assume that you're done with it. You've completed Sharandar, you have access to all three areas. Uh, Sharandar is broken down into three separate areas. So, what you want to do is you want <clears throat> to come. You want to get your weekly, of course. We're not going to do it. Um, I want to keep this video as short and to the point as I can. What we're going to be hunting here in Sharandor are going to be the T-Stones. Uh, if you do the weekly, you can get your you know rough AD for the weekly, of course. So we'll accept that. And it actually spawns right behind you. Alright, so as I mentioned, there is three sec sections to Sharandor. The first section is the Wildwood Gate. And simply pour it over there. And it's very self-explanatory. All you want to do is the daily quests. That's all Sharandar is. It's a little different than Dread Treadring. Uh, in Treadring, you can farm it non-stop. Uh, Sharandar is going to be once a day. It's a daily quest. You're actually going to have nine of them total. Uh, so here you are, the uh, Red Cat Bounty. Each one is going to reward you a lesser tea stone, uh, usually one gold crescent, and then one uh, campaign currency of that area. There's three areas, so there's three different campaign currencies. So simply, there's three in each area, you know, one, two, and three. And you just want to do your daily quests. I know it sounds... <laughs> easy doesn't sound like a secret or anything but you'd be surprised how many people don't do these every day so we'll run to each uh, section here I'll show you and prove to you here's the second section in the Banshee gate and we'll simply run up here in the Dark Fae Enclave and there will be three more daily quests So now here's the second campaign currency. And like I said, three more total daily quests. And the third one's right here. As I said, they all reward you with lesser tea stones. And we'll run over to the third area real quick. And the third and final area and the third gate is the Moonlight Gate. Like I said, this video will be assuming that you have the Sharndor campaign unlocked and you do have access to all three areas. If you don't, you want to make sure you get your Sharndor campaign done when you can. <clears throat> you can still form the daily quests in whatever section you are, so instead of getting nine a day, you can get six a day or three a day, whatever, whatever current section you're on in the campaign but like I said there's three more and the third campaign currency and three more quests uh, there is one thing if you jump down here in the third section uh, some people will like to farm this dungeon here it's called the uh, what is it called temple of uh, Celadine I believe uh, it's the same thing as the Dread Ring. You have to buy a Dork Fae key to get in there. 
uh, and it is the Temple of Saladin. Nothing really drops in there. I don't see the reward of the chest being the worth of the keys, but if you have enough campaign currency and you don't have anything to spend your campaign currency on, then there's no harm in it. Uh, the Blink Dog actually drops from the Temple of Saladin. Uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good companion for uh, like a guardian fighter or something of the such. Some kind of tanking. You should see it's plus two percent uh, combat advantage damage. That does drop in the temple, and you can't farm that over and over again. But it does have a very low drop rate. The main goal of Shardar is going to be that you want to do your daily quests every day. Uh, you can get, like I said, nine lesser T stones a day. So how is this considered farming? Uh, well, this goes into hand in hand with how many characters you have. So if you have two characters a day. Now you're up to 18 T stones. Uh, let's say, you know, you have 10, 10 characters. Well, now, now you just bump that up to 90 T stones a day. Uh, if you want to put in the time and the work and the dedication to do all nine of those daily quests on each character, some people actually do. Uh, the T stones don't sell for a lot. However, uh, you need the T stones. Well, you don't need the T stones, but it is one method of leveling up enchantments. As you can see, it's 2,500 refinement points for enchantments or runestones. Nah, you don't want to level up any runestones, but if you do want to level up enchantments, uh, it's just another source of refinement points, and these are basically free. You know, like I said, you get nine nine a day, uh, and depending on how many tunes you actually have, you know, if you have 10 tunes, you get 90 stones a day. Uh, so you could take those 90 stones, use them on a double refinement, and level up enchantments and sell the enchantments for a significant amount of profit. Uh, like I said, this is just another method of making AD. Um, I was scrutinized for making the first video at Dreadring, but hey, uh, I just wanted to put all the information out there. What you guys do with the information is up to you. Uh, so uh, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for Shardar. Uh, we're going to have one more AD farming guide later this week. Um, if you guys have any questions with Sharandar or any uh, comments or concerns or just general feedback, I always do appreciate it. Uh, thank you everyone for supporting the channel. We're growing at a great rate. Uh, thank you for all the questions that I have been receiving. I've been trying to answer everyone that I can. But like I said, this is Sharandar. Basically, you're going to farm the T-Stones. And like I said, the, many, the more characters you have, the more daily quests you can do, and they do accumulate. I don't know the current prices on uh, PlayStation 4 for what the T-Stones are going for, nor do I know the prices on PC. Uh, the Xbox prices are about uh, 200 and 240k AD, I think, for a stack of 99, uh, which for the amount of work that it takes to get them, uh, the price isn't super high uh, but like I said if you use those sea stones and level up your own enchantments then you can turn those enchantments into a significant profit if you still need uh, to make money if you still need your enchantments then it's a good source of just leveling up your enchantments overall to uh, equip your character better but if you are trying to make a little money on the side you know like I said nine nine free tea stones a day all you gotta do is in the daily quests so that's going to pretty much cover it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later this week.